Shadow of Judgment. Hello, everybody. It's Shadow of Judgment time. We all know what that means. I don't know what that sound was, but it's okay. What is Shadow of Judgment? Shadow of Judgment is where we go and look at what's on the dark side, what might be beyond your grasp of knowledge, what you know subconsciously, the dirty, dark things that lie in the secrets and the shadows. We get to see what's going on behind the scenes. Um, think of it as like a sideshow on your map. We're looking at earth signs again. So this is for now until the 28th. So Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. You guys get to see your shadow first. I think that happened last week too. I can't remember that. Memory of a goldfish, I guess. Anyway, let's see what's in store for you. Taurus, you're up first because you're like the first one. So let's see what your shadow judge. Oh, okay. Where'd you go? Injustice right here. Might be dealing with a fucking Libra right um and insecurities that's the motives we got for you right now it looks like people might not be able to come together on two things someone feels like something might not be fair might be dealing with legal issues of some sort or you could just be dealing with a leaper who's a little bit on the ant side just a little bit though i don't have to put these all the way up here but it's happened forgive me i could yank this down a little bit too there you go i don't have to worry about it I'll just leave it right there. Okay, anyway. But yeah, that's the motor right now. Somebody wants security and the other person might be like, uh, not so, it, like they feel like they're on a higher horse than you. Uh, might be some secrets going on with that as well as like, over here, this person's definitely looking at things a little bit suspiciously with why stuff might not be coming together so quickly. Oh, might be a Capricorn involved here. Definitely a separation of sorts, too. Someone have a secret boo on the side? Is that why the Emperor, this Aries person, possibly even um, Leo as well, I think? Because that's what I always consider him in this deck. Um, he's eyeballing over here like there's something up. Yeah, like, look at this. He's just like, yeah, I'm not starting anything over here. I'm too suspicious. What exactly is going on in this environment, exactly? Because that devil's got that temperance all reversed. Oh, could be you, Taurus. Or you could be left all in this whole, like, you know, I'm not getting anything done. Lots of regrets that someone cannot get over. Ooh, lots of cards for you. Two seconds. Let's see. We got fairness. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Taurus. So look at this, right? Two people broke up because someone wasn't passionate enough to be fair, to be as giving to everybody else the same way to their significant other or just this person who looks like they got a little bit in their pocket. I feel like someone wasn't even like interested in going that way. I don't know if it's the more feminine of the two, but it could be a possibility right here. Okay, Taurus. Let's look at this, right? So, here's your shadow, right? There could be some unfairness, possibly with Libra, or something with bad karma going on that's kind of like telling this high priestess that, you know, hey, this stuff back here, all this stuff that went wrong had something to do with this relationship. And it's like she speaks on this relationship and even the breaking up of it. Um, Tempers is saying that there isn't really a lot of communication between people. Could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with as well. Capricorn's on the board as well as you, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, this could have caused a separation on a more spiritual level because it became corrupted with the devil right here and it left you feeling really out of your element, Taurus. Now, someone wants to stay very secure and they're just eyeballing this entire, like, kerfluffle happening right now. 
Like, yeah, I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not gonna start something. I'm, I'm just gonna keep my wand to myself. At least I know what's going on. This here, like, I don't think they understand what's going on. Like, I don't think they understand that, like, there's something with this justice card right here that's playing a significant role in whatever secrets you're keeping behind it. Whether you're being unfair knowingly or something unfair happened that caused this breakup, I don't know, but there's definitely a feeling of incredible loss and you just... That ain't it, son. Just that ain't it. That ain't, but, yeah. Hmm. Interesting, Taurus. Alright. That was your shadow for this week. Virgo, it's your turn. For your shadow of judgment. Let's see what's going on with y'all. I don't know why, but I love the sound of the cards hitting the table, but it's super loud and I know it gets on your nerves probably, but it's just like, it's so addicting. It's like tapping nails on a table. It's just, mmm, that sass. You know, I love it. Makes me feel important. <laughs> okay, someone's struggling with making a choice. And running the other way with that choice also could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius you're dealing with right here. Um, friends, family, benefits. Oh, someone's trying to figure out how to get out of a tower moment. Someone's running back to what makes them happy. Hmm. I wonder why that is. Someone has been waiting for, um... the party, really. Someone's just like, you know what, this is a good time, but I think I'm done with it. Like, I've, I've had a blast. It's just not for me. Oh. Interesting. Let's see, Virgo. Like, there's a lot of, like, mm, I don't know. Boop, boop, and boop. Okay, so like, the Wheel of Fortune right here and the stars, someone wants to reach out so like things can move forward right here in this direction, right? Like some sort of communication or even trying to replace one thing for another. It's like, it's almost like it's time. It is time. It could either be switching from one work-related place to another or just trying to get something out there. I feel like it's time for someone to do something. You could be dealing with an Aquarius in this situation. I forgot to tell y'all, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Earth Signs. My bad. I should have mentioned that earlier, but I've been in my head. So let's see. Virgo. This air sign... It could be you embodying this energy, but, you know, it doesn't have to be. You could be dealing with an actual air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're running backwards to what made them happy. But it's like there is a separation or they broke up with somebody. With the lovers. Could be the Gemini once again. Probably not happy. And now they've come back to be, like, really decisive and logical when it comes to this cup they're staring right at, right? But they know that this person's guarding it, too. Because they had a good time, but things came to a halt. Because, you know, this dude ran away to battle somewhere else or whatever. Or they came back with, like, words and shit. And... Because of that, someone has to make a choice of either, I feel like, of... Like, somehow avoiding the tower, because they know it's gonna... But they also know it's gonna hurt them more than it will someone else when it comes to this new cup offer, Virgo. It really makes me wonder what you guys are up to. It's like... Hmm. Like, Ten of Swords in this deck, I like to say it's like... 
you were backstabbed, but it's like you're kind of using that victimness to an advantage a little bit too much, and it might wear on you a bit. To the point where you're only hurting yourself, you can end up crippling yourself trying to get to this cup. Because this person is more logical minded. Well, I mean, they I, I don't know if they were up here. Because that's like kind of immature. But they are definitely standing here on their throne. Like they ran back and be like, yes, I wait for you to present me this cup. But it's like someone's guarded here just being like, oh, the good times are over. Why would I offer you this cup? And now they got the guard up. Because it's just like the last time I let you in, some bullshit happened. So you might be also looking at the fact that you have dealt with some betrayal in the past that you kind of don't want to relive again and it almost seems like you don't want to put yourself in this situation with this person unless you know that's not going to happen so i think that's why you're trying to figure out what's going on and that's probably why they ran back to whatever made them happy in the first place but it might be that they came back as the queen of swords because either the relationship separation bothered them or Somebody didn't want their ass either, so pick whichever one you want. But that's your shadow of judgment. Capricorn, da da da. It's your turn. Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you, Caps. Oh, look at this. What is this? You guys got love on your brain, weirdos. That's adorable, though. I was honestly thinking about start doing this with like my vice versa deck, but it's like, no, this is Rider Waits for sure. Like I don't haven't been using it in a while. Gotta be fair. Anyway, Caps, this is your Shadow of Judgment. Let's see what's going on with you for this coming week. Right? Oh, could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They might be coming back to offer a cup with a fish named Fred. Not Ted, because Ted's a dick. But Fred's cool. Or was it the other way around? I can't remember, but I know I named the fishes something. And working on something. Either developing your skills, honing talents. You might be working with somebody in a work relationship as well. And, oh, everyone's gonna party. Sweet! Oh, look at that! That's not a bad shadow, is it? It's like a surprise. Oh god, I hate surprises. That'd be horrible. Oh yeah, like this dude offered the cup in the past and now they're coming to offer that cup again for good times. Look at this shit, Capricorn. What's the catch? Because like, what? Hmm. Like they're coming back a little bit more mature. But then we got the Queen of Pentacles. Not the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups over here. That's kind of weird, because I don't think those are the same people. I don't. I think you're dealing with two... Is this... Okay, one left and then came back mature. This one over here might be work-related that you're dealing with. But both of these people have their cups. This one's cup's covered. This one cup is completely exposed. But these two people are coming here. And I guess that's you in the center, and you got your own cup. Like, yeah, I'll party, whatever. You know? Yeah. Look at that, completion. Holy shit, Capricorns, your shit is not bad at all. I still feel like there's a catch somewhere, because it's just like, why are, why, are, why are people coming this way? I got on this mountain freezing. Oh, these people are coming in swift. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They looking for that booty, too. Maybe. What's on the next side? I'm really curious. Like, this has piqued my interest. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this side isn't doing shit, so... Well, what the fuck? Well, yeah, they got their cups covered anyway, like, that's what she's doing, she's holding it in, so... Of course she wouldn't, like, really do anything, but the Knight of Cups over there, his cup is, like, coming in swift, you know? Some recovery in this shit. Someone needs to rest, think about things, I think. Okay. Ooh. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Okay, Capricorns. 
There you fucking are right there, Queen of Pentacles. There we are. So here's the thing that I'm seeing. I think you have like to pick between two people. Both of them with a very water inner inner they're very, very emotional people. It's like there's two people you're dealing with. And it's like on this side, it's somebody either you worked with, you could have had a work affair with. Who you might have had feelings for who's not really coming out with their emotions and they aren't even starting anything like they're taking their wand elsewhere to somebody else but they do have emotions but they're keeping them covered and it's like if you go with this person you're just gonna be keep playing mind games with them right and i don't know if it's a rom and it doesn't even have to be a romantic sense right but it's still like hmm It's like you could work good together with this person if it's kind of a business thing or if they can support you with your projects, but I just feel like they don't have any passion to really connect on you on any sort of level, Capricorn. We're on this side. This is completely different. This is like somebody from back in the day when y'all were really young, right? They gave you their cup and now they're coming back a little bit older, a little wiser, Probably with an angsty attitude, because this is basically a fucking teenager, but, you know, it's better than a child. Right? Right. And they're coming with their cup, and they're coming swiftly, and it's like on this side with this person, you're running towards them. You might be running to fight them, but you are going towards them. And in this person, you're watching them act like... Like, usually it's like, you won the battle, but you lost the war. I feel like if you, ga if you engage with this Queen of Cups over here... Like, you're going to end up losing the war. But this person over here is coming to you anyway. Giving their cup swiftly, just like they did before. And I feel like you're willing to fight for that. But it's like, you don't know what to think, because it's just like, Oh, I love both of these people. Like, they both make me feel like home. Who the fuck am I supposed to pick? This person that, like, stimulates me mentally but pisses me off? Or this person who I'm basically probably gonna have to chase after and yell certain things to until I convince them to stick around until I'm calmed down enough not to be angry enough to yell anymore? Because that's just what Capricorns do. We get... We, we're not yelling, though. We're explaining. it. So it's just like, the more you don't get us, the louder we get. And it's just kind of like, oh my god, please just... Uh, like, we, like, we just... I mean, a Capricorn is completely harmless as long as you let us say what we want to fucking say. We will say shit that'll get under your skin, but that's because we know what we're fucking doing. Like, believe me, we know. But that's the whole point. Like, if you could take our mouth... Then we'll realize that that shit isn't gonna work on you, <laughs> so we don't bother at that point, you know. But it's like Capricorn, who do you want? The one who gets your brain going but leaves you thirsty for more, or the person who you want to have an argument with but have sweet, sweet sex with, or? doesn't have to be but I, I got but that's a lot like that's way more cuppage it's open this person isn't even opening up oh my god sweet 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 love making in a fury <laughs> okay that's shadow of judgment for y'all if you like this reading give me a like share or you can subscribe or you don't have to do any of that it really doesn't matter you have free will um, if you want a personal reading, my email is down below. I don't charge, but I do take donations and tips through my PayPal. Thank you very much for watching my video. This was for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Earth Signs. Love you guys' faces, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.